Have you ever looked at some designer fashion and thought, I could make that myself? Well, case in point, this Marc Jacobs, the tote, tote bag. I thought maybe I could make it and I'll show you how. I purchased a canvas bag from Amazon and some white iron-on letters. So I'm starting with these iron-on letters. I found two inch sans serif, about as close as I could get to this. Um, and they give you very little instructions, so I'm just going to cut them out, lay them out, and iron them on. These. Going for the H now. So now that I have my letters, let's see how this might work. I want to center it in here. It's going to be a little tricky going over this band, but I think even Mark's bag is like that. I'm just thinking it's never a bad idea to test this. So I'm just taking an old t-shirt and see what happens. Let's see what happens. Will this lift and release easily? Okay, pretty good on the t-shirt, but I don't know what's gonna happen with this fabric. Um, back to our tote bag. His letter spacing is a little wider, so I'm going to try to emulate that. I'm going to start with the H because I could just center it. There it goes. So far, so good. I decided to get all those other letters out of the way because it's gonna be kind of hard to iron them all together. I'm usually big on measuring, um, but I don't want anything to get in the way. So I'm just gonna kind of double check this, four inches, a little bit more than four inches for the base. I'm gonna work inward. A little bit nervous about um, going over this strap. It seems to work the same way. I'm giving them a little bit of time to cool down before I continue to put more letters in. Um, I'm gonna add a few little pencil marks so I get this baseline even. This is, we don't want this to look real wobbly. No, this thing is not going to be perfect, but can't have it really wobbly. Getting closer here now. Luckily, this bag didn't melt. It was said it was a canvas bag. And luckily, these letters are pretty easy to iron on. Spacing out the final two letters. I wanna make sure that it's definitely a larger space between the words. And that it's spelled right.
Well, it's far from perfect, which uh, gives credence to Marc Jacobs because this is not easy to do. Maybe you do want to buy the real one. See the links below for more designer do-it-yourself fashion. And check out fountainof30.com.